Hey guys, Aces here from UpToMarketing.com and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to stop getting distracted in your business. Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to get stop getting distracted in your business. Particularly, I wanna talk about two things here. One, being competition, and two, being shiny objects. So I'll explain what, what I mean by this. When you're an entrepreneur, I know it's super easy to get uh, distracted uh, because you have no one really, you know, watching over you, no one to tell you what to do and no one to tell you, you know, what, what things you should be working on and all these other things. And so it can be very easy to get distracted on the wrong things like browsing through social media, um, working on things that aren't going to get you a direct result, for example, like designing your website for hours um, and, and things like that, right? Where you're where you're, you're spending time, it feels like you're working, but you're not doing things that are really going to drive your business, aren't things that are actionable that can get you some sort of a result like writing an email for example that can get you some results like setting up an, a paid ad that can get you results and things like that right and so i want to talk to you about one thing that i know a lot of us fall into and it's uh it's competition right especially if you're if you're in affiliate marketing or if you are in um, network marketing it can be very very easy to get distracted um by by checking out the competition we check out what other people are doing and we fall into this into this bad habit of thinking that maybe what they're doing is the right thing Right, and what you got to understand is that 99% of people out there, maybe not 99, but close to probably like 90 to 95 percent of people out there are doing the wrong things. They're marketing very, very poorly, and if you're just copying them, you're you're probably gonna get the same results as they are, which is poor, uh, poor results, right? And and or you're gonna fall into this habit of building things off of hype, especially when you're when you're thinking about network marketing and and affiliate marketing. I see a lot of products and a lot of opportunities being sold on hype, right? And and hype can only get you so far. Right, hype can only get you like maybe some initial sales, but it's a horrible way of trying to really build a long-term business because you're not going to be able to get repeat customers really from from hype. Okay, and I and I can tell you that a lot of marketers that I see online build that way. Right, they, that's how they promote, and it's it's an ongoing struggle for them because they're going to continuously have to buy new find new customers um, to to be keep their their business going when they could be focusing on creating value instead and creating long term customers that will pay them out um, in the long term a lot more. Right, so that's the one thing. Right, checking out the competition. Right, because a lot of people aren't doing the right things. So ensure that uh, that you're that you're being genuine. Right, don't be copying other people. If you're genuine, if you're delivering value, and if you're creating great content and creating great, um, you know, great marketing, and uh, by leading with value, then I can guarantee you the sales will be com will, will come. Right, uh, but you, it takes some time to you know to to get to that point, to build it to to the point where you're going to see those results. And you just have to be a little bit more patient because a lot of times people aren't patient, and that's why they start copying people who seem to be getting good results but I can guarantee you it's not long-term results um, and now that brings me to the second thing which is shiny objects so by that sort of same idea that people are building things off of hype um, that's how what shiny objects are really all about when uh, especially when you first get started as an entrepreneur if you're working online, uh, I can guarantee your your email might be exploding with a bunch of people who are trying to sell you things, different things every single day, uh, telling you that you know this is the next best thing, this is the greatest thing if you need to do this or if you need to do that, and um, it can be super distracting, especially if you're not seeing the results that you want to. And the thing is, a lot of people have this false idea of how quickly they can achieve results because things don't happen overnight. It might not happen, you know, in a month or two. It might even happen in six six months to a year to two years. You never know. It's going to be different for everybody because it depends on the work effort you're putting in and if you're focusing your time on the right things, right? And so when you don't see results right away, um, it can be tempting to to look for something else, right? Because we think maybe it's an opportunity. Maybe them. Uh, this isn't the right thing for me. Maybe this isn't working for me. Um, maybe this is the wrong thing and then you look at like if you look for something new you're always gonna find it online because there's new things pop up every day right and so if you look for something new uh, chances are you're gonna find it and if it uh, and if the you know the sales marketing is nice and slick if the video is like you know very hypey and it, it could be it could draw you in and it can easily get you to, to you know to, to buy and a lot of marketers uh, prey on that on that mindset of people thinking you know I'm looking for something new something, the next big thing thing that's gonna make the difference for me um, and uh, or network marketing try to get that you know try to get started on the ground floor all these like you know these terms and things that people you know talk to themselves about but if you're um, Again, if you're genuine to to who it is that you that who you are, if you market yourself as a genuine person, you're creating great content that's of value to people, and people will resonate with with that. People will resonate with you with your message because people really sign up and buy from you, 
right? They don't, they're not buying onto the opportunity. They're not buying to the product, right? They're buying for somebody that they like, trust and respect, right? And if they, and it's hard to find someone they like, trust and respect online. And if they come across you and you're being genuine and you're creating value and you're, and you know, you're, you're, you're providing them with content that can help them in their business, then um, that's what they that's what they need and that's what they're looking for. And if you provide that, and if you especially if you do something like these videos, like I'm doing right here, and you're providing that stuff for free, people will 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 definitely appreciate that and resonate with that. And that's when you start you know really building a, a loyal following, and uh, and that's going to make the difference between you having a short term maybe hype built business and a long term value-based business right and and, uh, and honestly if you're looking to stick around and do this long term that's what you want to do you want to build a value-based long-term business and the only way you're going to do that is by being genuine putting yourself out there creating value and uh and then you know doing the right things in terms of actions that are going to be able to build your business so yeah putting out ads out there yeah creating uh creating content yes emailing your, your list every day those are good habits to get into but again, leading through value, right? So as long as you're teaching your audience the things that they need to do to resolve the problems that they're looking for, then I can guarantee you, you're gonna have a successful business. All right, guys. So um, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, make sure you leave me some comments below. Let me know what, you're, what you think. And uh, if you have any more comments and things that maybe you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, guys, let's just get out there and have some fun. You can get more online marketing and training tips at netplaymarketing.com. While you're there, make sure to request access to the NetPlay Marketing Facebook Mastermind Group, where you will be able to connect and network with other like-minded entrepreneurs. Find out what's working online right now and get any of your questions answered on how to best grow your business.